Well, I thought I would share with you my three queens. This piece was handcrafted in, uh, I think it was Brazil or Indonesia. And they actually, because I requested it, um, it is sterling. And they normally do not put precious stones of any kind in sterling silver because it's just, they just don't do it. Um, I love the detail on this thing. I've got skull. I, I just I have a thing for skulls. What can I say? Um, it has a good bell clasp on it. I think I paid about eighty five bucks for it, but for a custom piece, and because I didn't want to sink a diamond into an eighty five dollar piece of sterling, I asked for a uh, white topaz. I can't I I can't remember. Pardon me, but it's not a diamond, but. Uh, I wore it faithfully for a long time. So that's one of my queens that just lost her head. <laughs> Go figure. Now, this one is my absolute favorite. Let me see here. Uh, let me get her on her, her throne, and we'll talk about this one. Okay, this one is a custom piece, and this is platinum, pure platinum, and those are black diamonds in the eyes. It's got a lot of detail to it. One of my favorites, and it's real heavy, but it does fit good on the, uh, it does fit good on the hand. And let's see, the shank is... The shank is real good and thick. But yeah. My other queen. I think she lost her head. Now this one I had custom from a silversmith that I know does very good work. Okay, where is she? This gal here. Part of my finger. It's healing. Um... This one goes on, uh, well, let me put it on the podium. Pardon me, I am such the amateur on stuff like this. Uh, this is a small ring when I, he got the size wrong, but I didn't hold it against him. But um, it's got the fleur de lis. This is sterling. And uh, when I come up with a premise, we sat down and we figured it out. And I seen, you know, diamonds might be a girl's best friend, but like on this piece, black diamonds. I had to pay a had to pay a little bit of chunk of money. The silver wasn't shit, but the uh the black diamond in here that's probably I can't remember what carrot, but it it's it's there. I mean if you Compare it to my, well, are you going to act right? If you compare it to my pinky fingernail, it's a Whopper John. And on the finger, because it got the size wrong, I had planned on wearing it here. But you could sure put some of that. But what the thing I like the best, I like, I like the best about it is the prongs the um the black diamonds are such a rarity got my fingerprints all over them but the prongs was what impressed me the most i mean this was handmade and you know there's not a whole lot of detail but i told him i wanted uh hearts for eyes um i was gonna put 
some more stones here but he said if you really wanted to stand it as a skull and you like you know the kings and queens and stuff like that I said you know what what the heck surprised me so that's a that's a pretty big one right there I mean that that this one is light but the stone is heavy and I don't like wearing it on my middle finger this one geez this one is heavy and um I, like I said, I have an affinity for black diamonds and the detail, the detail. I was going to have some here, and he said no, that the die cut already had its own, own thing. So I don't know why he made the chin that way, but uh, he said, are you sure you don't want red? Because everybody wants red or green eyes. I said, I want black eyes. Black. Black. And then, last but not least, my wedding ring has um, black diamonds in it. And it's a white gold. Had it for a while. Oh, look who showed up. Okay, you tell me. What do you think about it? Hmm? Put them on your little paws. What do you think about this little deal? Hmm? He probably thinks it's a cat bell. You like this one? Oh, you do? Oh, you giving it lovings? Okay. Anyway, I highly recommend getting a jeweler sizer. Let's see. So that means that this uh, this ring falls right at the six, which goes on my pinky, nowhere else. And this one will go on my thumb. Let's see, it'll fit my thumb. Okay, just keep your eyes on the cat. Here. And then, of course, you've seen it on my middle finger, so I don't know. I just have a thing for skulls and crappy cameras. There you go. Well, got to come up with something. I have more jewelry than 10 jewelry stores, so there's that. But you can get these off Amazon, you know, if you ever have a question of what your ring size is. I didn't pay much for it. I have that, and then I had the um, uh, the little ones that have the little rings attached to them. I mean, I don't guess I would have to have a Harry Potter one. I never got into that garbage anyway. Sorry if I offended anyone. I don't care for Harry Potter stuff. That's kid stuff. Anyway, this is my magical wand that's going to make this video go away. Okay, bye.